Okay, this is the, um, the first video on proof by induction. Um, and I'm going to start with one that's pretty basic, and, and we, can, we know this is true because it's one of our, um, our rules with, um, this is an arithmetic sequence, um, but I want to use this example to, to show you how we prove by induction. Um, so first thing, um, when, when we, proof by induction is a little bit like climbing a ladder. Okay, the idea being, that's my ladder, that, uh, there's a reason I don't teach you art. Okay, the, the idea is that step one, you have to show that you can actually get your foot on the ladder. So if I can find, if I can get to the first, if I can actually get my foot on that first step, well, if I can't even get my foot on that first step, the whole ladder is, is, is useless, right? Um, and then, so step one, Step one, when we do this proof by induction, is going to show that n equals one. So basically, when we think about our ladder, is can I get to the first step? If I can't even get to the first step, then then it doesn't matter. The next step is we're going to. So this is step one is to prove that n equals one. Step two is to say is to assume that n equals k. So now we're going to assume that we're somewhere on this ladder. We're going to assume that we're at step K. K is our favorite letter. Um, so we're going to assume that we're there at step K. And then step three is we're going to prove that if we're at step K, we can get to the next step. So basically we're saying we got to the ladder. We were able to put our foot on the ladder. Life is good. Okay. And then we said we we're at some random step and we can make it to the next one. Well, if we're at some random step and we can make it to the next one, we could climb the whole ladder. Um, so prove n equals k plus 1 is true. Um, so on this first, this one right here, step 1. Um, so sometimes I like to write, um, and I'm going to ask you to label this very clearly. Step 1, show n equals 1 is true. So when I plug in this, so this goes, i goes from 1 to 1 of i, well that would just be, sometimes um, it's helpful to say right hand side, oh, this is the left hand side, my bad, left hand side, so the sum as i goes from 1 to 1 of, is just 1, we're done. Then the other side here, so then the right hand side is to say that n equals 1, 1 times 1 plus 1 over 2, this is 1 times 2 over 2, that's equal to 1, they match, the left hand side and the right hand side match up, we have shown that when n equals 1, it's true. Okay, step two is to assume n equals k. Okay, so there's step two. So we're going to say uh, the sum as i goes from 1 to k of i is equal to, well, k times k plus 1 over 2. And so this, this step... These first two, well, sometimes for step one can be a little scary or a little messy. All of a sudden, you have to do weirder stuff. This one wasn't too bad. Um, step two should be pretty straightforward. All you're doing is plugging in K for wherever we had N. So notice anywhere I had N, uh, and we're done. Okay, so now step three is where the real work comes in. And what I like to do before I start step three is I like off to the side, sometimes over the top, I'll write down my goal. Okay, and so my goal is to show that the sum as i goes from 1 to k plus 1 of i, that would be equal to, well, k plus 1 times k plus 1 plus 1 over 2. Okay, in other words, my goal is saying I want to get down to where I see k plus 1 times k plus 2, but I really, I'm going to ask you to break it back up to show me it's k plus 1. Maybe even put that little bit in parentheses. I mean, it doesn't matter, but but make it very clear that this is anywhere that there had been an n is now k plus 1. So this is my goal. When I get here, I'll know that I have shown that the, um, the k plus 1 term is true. Okay, so what I have here is we're going to say, okay, well, the sum as i goes from 1 to k plus 1 of i, well, that's equal to the sum as i goes from 1 to k of i plus one more term. Okay, so what we've got here is it's the first, if you think about this, this has k plus 1 number of terms. So I've got 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot, 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 and I keep going out here. I have k, and then I have k plus 1. Oh, not k1, k plus 1, my bad. Okay, so this has a total of k plus 1 number of terms, and what I'm doing is I'm saying, okay, this part right here, it's this first k plus one more term. 
And in this case, this particular scenario, I used a straightforward, really easy equation. They don't stay easy, but we're going to start here. Um, so that's the sum of the first k terms plus the k plus 1th term, which in this case was actually k plus 1. Okay, so far so good. So then what we know is that the sum right here, the sum of those k terms, we assumed it to be equal to this. So this part right here, we're going to substitute out for what we had here. k times k plus 1 over 2, and plus we still have a k plus 1. Okay, so the next thing I need to do now, I need to manipulate this until I get to my goal. Okay, and there are more than one way, there, there is more than one way to do that. Um, here's what struck me right here right now. What I might do is I might say, okay, this is k plus 1 over 2. This needs a common denominator. So 2 k plus 1 over 2. Um, I recognize that I now have a k times k plus 1 plus 2 times k plus 1. Oh, sorry, let me, all over 2. What I might recognize is that they both have a k plus 1 term that can factor out. I could FOIL it out and then factor, or um, or I can say, well, there's a k plus 1 that factored out of both terms, and I was left with a k and a 2. Okay, and here, now we have this k plus 1 times k plus 1 plus 1 all over 2, and here's how we always end our proof. I'm sorry, I ran out of space. We can say, therefore, these three little dots, mathematicians are inherently lazy, I mean efficient, and these three little dots mean therefore. Therefore, the sum as i goes from 1 to n of i is equal to n times n plus 1 all over 2. And that's how we end our proof. Um, say if this were worth um, 8 marks, I don't know, say, say it's worth 8 marks. I would say that this step 1 is worth, excuse me, step 1 is worth a mark or 2. Let's see, how would I break out 8? Um, maybe 1, 1, no, maybe one, 2, 2 marks, and so maybe, maybe I would say 2 marks here, 1 mark here, um, and that leaves us maybe 5 marks here, and then 1 mark for this last step. Does that add up? 6, nope, that's too much. Um, maybe 4. So something like that, where step one would be two marks, um, and step two, so it's that kind of a balance. This is the bulk of your points right through here, but you want to do, you do want to tell me that final concluding work. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, we will talk about this in class.